Welcome to White Lecture Online. Now let's learn how to graph an ellipse, the shortcut method, the general method. So what we need to do first is find the offset, if there's an offset, and then go up and down, left to right, depending upon what the equation tells us to do. So this is how we do that. First of all, we need to find the central location of the ellipse by finding the offset. Of course, if h and k are equal to zero, then the central point of the ellipse is right at the origin, but this in this case is going to be offset a distance h to the right and a distance k up. So let's say that h is over here and let's say that k is over here so that means that the central portion of the ellipse right there, the central point, not portion but point, will be right there at h and k. Next, what we need to do is we need to look at the number underneath the x minus h and the number underneath the y minus k. In this case, we, we start from the center point where h and k is, and we move up and down, oh, not up and down, this is, belongs to the x, so in this case we move to the right and to the left a distance a. So we move to the right a distance a like this, so if this here is a distance a, and then over here we move to the left a distance a, like this, and so that finds the two points to the left and to the right of the central location. And then in the y direction, notice we move a distance b up and a distance b down. So if this is b, if this is right here, if this distance here is b, and if this distance here is b as well, that means we end up with two more points like this. And then all we have to do is connect those dots, and we have the graph of an ellipse. In this case, it looks almost like a circle, but that's quite all right. It's the methodology that matters. So now we're going to apply that to a real problem. So here we have an, an actual set of numbers. So you see that we are going to be shifted to the right by 2 and down by 3. So the, the right by 2, so this point right here is 2, and down by 3, this point is negative 3. So this will be the central point of the ellipse. And let me move it over just a little bit. There we go. So now we look at the first term right here, associated with the x, we're going to go left and right a distance 4. So that means we're going to go right 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, and we're going to go left 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, right there. So you know that this distance here is a distance of 4, and this distance here is a distance of 4 as well. And then we look at the term with the y in it. Notice we're going to go up and down 5 units, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so this distance here is 5, and we're going to go down 5 units. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I guess I need negative 8 there, right there. And so this distance here is 5 units as well. And now we can go ahead and graph that ellipse. I guess this point is a little bit off, over to the... So I'm going to be careful. There we go, there we go, and there we go. There we go. There's our ellipse. And again, that's how we use the general equation in this particular format to go ahead and graph the ellipse. First, we find the central point offset by 2 to the right and 3 down. So 2 to the right and 3 down, that's the central point of the ellipse. Then we look at the number associated with x. It's a 4, so we go to the right 4, to the left 4. Then we look at the number associated with y. You go up 5 and down 5. Then you connect all those outside dots, and you have the correct ellipse. And that is how it's done. That's your method. <laughs> <Better method. laughs> All right. Mm.